Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to be talking about smart contract automation. This is actually really, really important. So let's say you've got a smart contract that you've deployed out onto a blockchain. That code is only going to execute when a certain condition is met. So maybe like a button click that triggers an event like a transaction. But what about if you want your smart contract to execute independently? One example might be if you want to automatically reinvest token earnings or automatic salary payouts for a DAO or petting your avocado NFT every 12 hours. So how do we accomplish something like this without sacrificing the decentralized nature of our blockchain application? Well, today we're going to look at how we can make this happen using the Gelato network. Gelato is an awesome tool and they've been kind enough to partner with me to bring you this video. So thank you to the Gelato network team for that. It's also an open source and community driven project. So all gel token holders are able to have a say in the future direction of the protocol through the Gelato DAO. Gelato is comprised of globally distributed node operators that basically enables anyone to leverage a decentralized bot network to fully automate any smart contract function on Ethereum protocols. This is available on a few different networks right now, basically EVM based blockchains, and it's being used in some pretty popular DeFi applications. So let's take a look at an example of how this works. So the really, really nice thing is that Gelato actually provides a little walkthrough that we can do to kind of see how all of this works. So obviously the first thing that we're going to need is some smart contract to actually automate and thankfully that's already taken care of for us with this tutorial. So in a minute we will take a quick look at the code for that out in GitHub. Um, but for now I'm going to go ahead and connect my wallet. I'm going to use uh, the Robston network just because I still have some leftover uh, Robston test ETH. So I'm going to connect my MetaMask wallet. For this tutorial, we're going to be working with a ice cream NFT contract that has a lick function that we're going to be invoking that will basically make the ice cream gradually disappear. So let's go ahead and mint this NFT and confirm the transaction. All right, now let's go ahead and create a task. So this is where we would paste the address of our smart contract. Um, they've given it to us right here, the contract that we're going to be using. So we'll just paste that in. And then we're going to select the lick function from this list here. This is basically a list of all the functions in that smart contract. So we'll choose the lick function. Now, really quickly, let's come over and just look at this contract in GitHub. This is an NFT. So as we can see, this is a standard ERC 721 uh, solidity contract. And the function that we're going to be invoking is this lick function right here. So it's going to require an argument of our token ID, and then it's going to check that this can only be invoked every five minutes. Otherwise, uh, we're going to get brain freeze, so we cannot lick the cone another time. So it checks the block timestamp to make sure that this is only being called every five minutes. And then it's going to increment the lick count for this token ID and record uh, the lick time. So back over here, they've told us right up at the top, our token ID is 54. So we're just going to input that. And now we need to uh, choose our parameters for when we want the task to execute. So we know that we need to set the interval to every five minutes. So we will go ahead and do that and then we'll leave it checked at start immediately so we can see this taking place. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and confirm the use of some of my test ETH here. Okay, our transaction succeeded. We're gonna go ahead and create a unique name for this task. So I'm gonna call it um, Lick Sarah's Ice Cream. That's basically it. We've configured everything. Now, do note, uh, we went ahead and used a predefined input up here for our token ID. There is an option to do dynamic inputs via resolver, so you are able to um, make your function arguments dynamic, which is pretty cool. So something we can talk about in more videos on this topic. If you all are interested, definitely let me know. Okay, let's go ahead and create this task. So when that finishes right here, we can see uh, the Lick Sarah's ice cream function that we created. If we click on this, we'll be able to keep track of all the information related to this function execution. And actually down here, we have a list of it being executed every five minutes. So this is really, really handy, super simple to set up and something that could be really useful for your smart contracts. 
Okay, this was an introduction to smart contract automation. I hope this is helpful for some of you developers out there. I'll leave all links to Gelato Network stuff in the description. There's a lot more we can talk about related to this topic with resolvers and function arguments and writing custom contracts. So if this is something you're interested in, definitely let me know if you'd like to see more videos going more in depth with Gelato. And for now, I'll see you in the next video.